think one's feelings waste themselves in words. They ought to be distilled into actions which bring results. These are the words of an important figure who made a great contribution. Florence Nightingale was a leader. She was a leader for three reasons. She was a dedicated leader, she was a dependable leader, and she was an influential leader. Without her dedication, her journey would not have begun, which leads me to my first point, she was a dedicated leader. Professor McDonald, who collected works of Nightingale, said in History Today that in 1836, at age 16, was when she began her passion for nursing, which was then not yet a profession. Her parents didn't approve of her choice because nursing was considered of low so nurses were considered of low social standing, and her family was of high social standing. But despite her lack of support, she strongly believed that God spoke to her about her call to service. So she decided not to let anything interfere, including relationships, relationships with men, and later found that nursing was her call to service. A leader is one others look to in times of struggle, which leads me to my second point. She was a dependable leader. Through research, Professor McDonald concluded this that Nightingale obtained the support and assistance of so many high-level medical experts, cabinet ministers, and senior officials is a tribute to her careful preparation and attention to detail. People knew they could rely on her, that she did her homework. She was associated with all the right people, and she used this to her full advantage. And we all know any type of caregiver must be reliable because the patient's life is in the caregiver's hands. She always considered the safest and least complex procedure, making it easy for her patients to rely on her. She was a trusted nurse because she always considered what was in the patient's best interest. Nightingale also impacted nursing today, which leads me to my last point, that she was an influential leader. In the American Journal of Nursing, Joseph Choi quoted Nightingale, but it has been the ambition of my life to establish a training school for nurses. Training schools still exist today and many of them are funded by the Nightingale Fund. Her advice to young women about work is this. Qualify yourself for it, as man does his work. Don't think you can undertake it otherwise. Submit yourself to the rules of business as men do, by which alone you can make God's business succeed. Her greatest contribution was introducing nursing into workhouse infirmaries. She enabled young people, like myself, to make a difference through nursing careers. Her many qualities inspire others to make it, her many qualities inspire others to do their best, no matter what field of study. Her time, without her time and effort, my chosen major would not exist. She has made a difference, but she has opened the gates for others to do so as well. How little can be done under the spirit of fear, she said. Florence Nightingale was a leader. She was a leader for three reasons. She was a dependable leader. She was, she was a dedicated leader. She was a dependable leader. And she was an influential leader. Thank you.